I think we're on to something here. I think being low carb or carnivore really helps with chapped lips. What's happening? NJRoot22.com here, another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's about some of the unknown possible benefits of being carnivore or low carb. And I'm, in this case, I think it's going to be more uh, weighted towards the carnivore end of it because a lot of people talk about the profound benefits they found going to low carb or carnivore. Whether it's better sleep, digestive issues, and more focused in the brain. It dawned on me this winter. I have this whole little uh, like tray of lip balms in my office, like 20 of them I've collected over the years, you know. And I haven't touched them in years, a couple years at least, two, three years, since we've really turned up the dial on carnivore slash carnivore light living. And I'm like, wait a minute. I used to get, you know, chap lips maybe once a year, you know, especially if I'm out doing yard work or, you know, working in the snow. And then we've been living in the same place for quite a while. So it's not like I've changed locations and have different kind of heat or anything like that. It's just that my lips are just not chapped. I'm like, wait a minute, this has to coincide with being carnivore, like maybe not eating wheat or vegetables or, or any of these other things. It, there's some hidden benefit. I can't say for sure, but it certainly is a major league correlation between switching to mostly meat and not having really any skin issues whatsoever. Yeah, other than the occasional ingrown hair, I, cause that's because I give my own freaking haircuts now and I can't get it down properly. I like neck shaves and I haven't been able to get a neck shave in well over a year. But uh, I, that's it. I, I think the skin issue definitely has something to do with just going straight almost meat. That's it. If you like the video, please hit the bell and subscribe. I'll see you next time.